Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today, once again, we are going over Pop the Balloon or Find Love with Arlette Zamudi. I still believe that hers is one of, is actually the best Pop the Balloon um, on YouTube. This is because even though we have got so many, so even though it has deviated from its intended path in many ways, I think it still stands out as possibly the only one with a semblance of truth, a semblance of authenticity. And even though we have identified that very few of these ladies actually are here for love, it is still a better kettle of fish than all the others combined so far. So let's go. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Cliff. Cliff, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. And what do you do? I'm a project manager for a construction company based in Las Vegas. Nice. Um, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, I live an active lifestyle. I enjoy cycling. I travel internationally. Um, I love wine tasting. And I'm a certified scuba diver. Okay. All right. Nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I look for a woman that's family-oriented, goal-oriented, someone that's positive and uplifting, um, someone that's uh, adventurous and open to exploring. I look for a woman that's ambitious that can match my hustle. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Some deal breakers for me, a woman that lacks communication, a woman that's not positive, uplifting, you know, negative energy, bad vibes, um, a woman that don't have no goals, you know, nothing set for themselves. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so we do not have any pop balloons. So what that means is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Okay. Okay. We did get a pop balloon, but we're, we're going to continue with what I had in, right. in mind. <laughs> so... There are quite a few ladies up here, so I'm going to have you pop two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing, you know, you haven't got to hear from them yet, so it's going to strictly just be off of what you're seeing, what's not really your type, whatever it is. Pop those two, and then we'll see what you end up popping. Okay. Okay, one more. All right. Let's stay over here. Let's start over here. Your name and age and why you had your balloon unpopped. My name's Carrington. I'm 26. Um, I was just trying to hear what you had to say. I like your outfit. Thank you. Thank and you. Your appreciate hair. I like that it's done. Mm -hmm. All right. So is why do we end up popping Carringtons? I mean, I just I had to pick two, right? You know, I to, you know, they all beautiful. She, be, you're a beautiful woman. Okay. I just, you know, I have to get, I have to pick two. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? I'm Kay. I'm 27. Okay. And Kay, why was your balloon unpopped? Um, it was the locks. I like his hair for okay. sure. It's nice. <laughs> okay, and then why do we end up popping hers? Um, no, she's beautiful, Thank gorgeous. You. I appreciate just that. Just gorgeous, you know. Initially, first two, that's you know, out the gate, that's how I feel like I needed to pop, you know. Okay. And then we did get a pop balloon over here. Name and age, and why you ended up popping? Hello, my name is Kia. I'm 29. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What's your name again? It's Cliff. Cliff, nice to meet you. Um. I just scanned the room a little bit. I saw that there were several other women still interested in have their balloons um, unpopped, and I just wanted you to maximize your opportunities. I, I knew I wasn't initially attracted off the bat. so. But, yeah, you seem well-spoken and sweet and kind, so, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, and now she's someone that's your type? She looked gorgeous, yes. She's definitely gorgeous. Mm, thank you. Definitely beautiful. I appreciate that. And we did get a pop back here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kamina. I'm 27. It's just that you low-key look like one of my cousin's best friend's baby daddy. It's <laughs> That's a long list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we have identified the people who are here for clout. We have identified the clout chasers who just want people to just want their clips to go viral so people can then ask who is this person and check out their socials because she is supposedly some form of an artist she is supposedly some for some sort of rapper so her reason for being here is to get that 
viral clip so people can check her out and increase her own following. So let's ignore everything that she has said or is about to say. Uh, you kind of look about, yeah. I tried holding on, but it was just, no. <laughs> but you're very handsome, though. Thank you. You're beautiful, too. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Let's go back. So we do have four remaining ladies. Go ahead and ask them a question, help you narrow it down. Okay, what's your favorite uh, vacation destination and why? Mm. All right, let's start here. Name and age, and what's your favorite destination? My name is Ish. I'm 28. Anywhere outside of the country where it's like warm, a beach, somewhere you can relax, kind of forget everything that you have going on in life, just like an escape. Like if I'm going on a vacation, I don't want to go to like Canada or somewhere like it feels like the same environment that I'm in now. I feel you because it's close. Exactly. I got you. Mm -hmm. Your name and age and what's your favorite vacation destination? Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old, and I would have to say the beach. Um, I'm I love like anything with like large bodies of water, and I just love sunsets. Like if you anybody knows me, like yeah. I'm a, a definitely a fan. I have a million pictures of sunsets <laughs> in my phone. Um, so anytime I go to the beach, like I get up really early to like watch the sunrise. Yeah like get a cup of coffee and like just go chill it's like really peaceful and just like seeing like what god created it just like yeah <laughs> that's, that's gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> name age and what's your favorite vacation destination my name is renee i'm 25. so far my favorite destination would be um cartagena colombia because i was able to dive into the culture there beautiful water beautiful land beautiful people and good food good vibes so, okay okay Columbia, for sure. i like that colombia mm -hmm. <laughs> all right okay. and we have one more down here your name and age, and what's your favorite vacation destination? Um, Christina, I'm 24. I would say anywhere tropical, because I love water. I love to chill. Very peaceful person. So, yeah, anywhere tropical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything specific? Um, I would say, sorry, uh, Greece or Italy. Greece or Italy? I've never been. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. Italy is nice, too. I've been. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Let's head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. I'll just have you pop one balloon. Okay, one balloon. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, man. He's weird. He's walking this way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I like your energy. Very just calm, cool, collected. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so why did we end up popping hers? Oh. Um, one, I had to, you know, choose one. I had, you know, slim picking, so, but hair is very gorgeous. I like your hair. It's Thank very gorgeous. You. But, you know, I had to narrow it down to, you know, who I want, you okay. know, down to my final three. So, yeah. Right. Thank you. Yes. All right. Let's ask our remaining three another question. Okay. What's a short-term goal you plan on accomplishing in the next few years? Start over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm zoned A out. short term goal of mine would definitely be ownership ownership of houses, cars, just having that stability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ownership right now at the moment? As of right now, just a car. But, okay. Uh, mainly I want to invest in real estate. Okay, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, over here, your answer. Um, I would say um, being a property owner, I'm currently in the process of that right now. Um, I got my like loan situation already figured out. Um, I've been on that how look for houses um, in my area, and so just trying to figure out um, what property I want to get now for like rental uh, properties and stuff. Okay, is it a, like a small property, like a home duplex? What, what, what are we um, talking about? Single I home? Wanna, yeah, kind of like a home. I kind of want to like aim towards more like lower income people and like have nice house uh houses so they can you know live in mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yeah definitely like rental properties that's my okay. next goal that's perfect i love it and over here if you want to answer this question um so i want to scale my businesses i have two businesses currently one is a digital marketing business the other is a vending machine business that i just started so i want to be able to create more passive income so that i can free up my time and do more things that i love to do Okay, how many uh, school uh, vending machines do you have? Two. 
Two? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. That's, I that's just what... started, literally. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's lovely. I want to get into it, too. Like, really? That's, yeah, that's my plan. Got the name and everything. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. Pop one balloon? Yes, sir. Damn. <laughs> okay. So, Renee, why did we have our balloon unpopped? I think you're very handsome, very well-spoken. You seem intelligent. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. You are. I think, I mean, she's definitely gorgeous. I love the white. I love it. Thank uh, the you. necklace and everything, too. <laughs> um, but I just feel like the other two questions, you know, the, I, firm, yeah, the answers was great. Okay. just feel like, you know, both was real estate, but, you know, properties and stuff. But, you know, one was stronger than the other one. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, as well. All right, let's open it up to the ladies. Any questions for him? You do? Okay. Do you have children? I don't have any kids. Um, so how would your like friends and family describe you and like your personality? Um, I would say my personality is um, caring, um, very um, motivating, inspiring. Um, that's what I kind of live my life based off of. Motivating and inspiring is always like my kind of passion for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got one more question. Yeah, go for it. Um, I know this is cliche, but like, are you a 50-50 guy? What do you mean by that? Can you explain more? Yes. Like, moving into, like, marriage, you're like, yeah, you take 50% of the bills, I take 50% of the bills, or that No, I think the man should take majority of the bills, like, take a majority of the work. But, I mean, if a woman wants to, you know, work and continue to, you know, have income for herself as well, nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like, you know, a man should take majority of the work, you know, bills and all that. You know, let the woman relax and, you know, do what she needs to do. But and you know, she still just take care of family. Too. Yeah, family and stuff as well. But I think you know her income is you know, be helpful as well. But you know, the man should take care of most of the responsibilities and work too, okay. and help out as well. So okay. yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, all right. Why did we end up popping? Um, I think I would just say you said like the the man should take more of like the bills and stuff. Um. I wouldn't say I'm 50-50, um, but I feel like if you would have been like um, both incomes and like we build together and like that kind of thing, then rather. Oh my God, how stupid can you be? The man said he would financially be responsible for most of the financial cost of the relationship. She can work if she wants to work. However, he will stand most of the financial cost of the relationship. Now, unless you are saying that you want to go 50-50, there is really no reason for you to be disputing what he says. There There are three ways to this. He takes most of the financial responsibility. The financial responsibility is split right on the middle. Or you take most of the financial responsibility. But the challenge is, is a catch-22 in all of this. Women generally do not prefer to be out there working. However, based on how social media and society has strangled their psyche and has injected stupid thoughts into their mind, they believe now that any man that says, I want to take most of the responsibility financially of the relationship, he is therefore saying that he wants a slave. That's basically what her mind, that's basically how her mind interpreted what this gentleman just said if he is not willing to go 50 50 then he wants a slave and if he had said 50 50 then he would have come across as someone who is not a man but let's continue just saying like yeah the the man should take care of majority of the bills um 
Yeah, go ahead. I mean, the man should <laughs> take care of, you know, majority of the bills. But yeah. I'm saying if it's, you know, if we align the 50-50, then that is what it is. But I just feel like um, – a man should take, you know, care of more, mm -hmm. more of the responsibilities. But both incomes is great. That's that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, Your I'm, income will be great, you know, to bring in too as well. But I'm just saying, like, a man should have that, you know, responsibility yeah. to take care of, you know, majority of the work. You know, let that stress off a woman, especially if she's doing anything, taking care of the house and everything like that. So, you mm -hmm. know, that ease the stress off, you know, her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any final questions between the two of you? Yes. We're are you currently like where do you live i'm currently in las vegas okay so long distance is a no for you where are you i'm in detroit michigan oh detroit okay, okay. that's lovely <laughs> <laughs> thank you you're welcome okay, my well, sister actually lived in vegas for like six years it's a beautiful place okay. okay all right well unfortunately that is all of the balloons popped but we do thank you so much for coming thank on you. let's go ahead and give it up for him ladies <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, the more you see, the more you know, the more you understand that most of today's women are hopeless. They are hopeless. I have nothing more to add, gentle folks. Um, yes. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video if you feel inclined to do so. Every day, misogyny with your host, Mr. Misogynist. Let's go.